What's up guys, Lucas here, and in this video, I'm going to break down something unique about the carnivore diet that no one is talking about. So, if you're brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas, I am the founder of Ergogenic Health, and in this video, I'm going to basically explore how the carnivore diet may actually be lowering your body and brain's overall production of the number one neurotransmitter known as serotonin. So many of you will already know that I've spoken about serotonin quite a lot and you know that uh, I've you know, explained how excess amounts of serotonin can actually contribute to many disease states and in fact can significantly affect um, somebody's quality of life. So for example, what we know is that um, elevated serotonin may contribute to diabetes, uh, anhedonia, which is the inability to experience pleasure. Um, it, serotonin can also lower thyroid function. It can directly affect um, your metabolic rate. So. Basically, what I want to do is break down how the carnivore diet may actually be lowering serotonin and how that may actually lead to better health. Um, so, one of the things that we know about uh, various dietary interventions and certain um, supplements and things like that is that whenever we have irritation in the gut, so that can be through oxalates, uh, lectins, or polyphenols, um, whenever we have some degree of irritation, that can actually increase intestinal release of serotonin, and that can actually then uh, affect the brain. So we know that the gut is our second brain, but the, the key thing to understand is that we actually have a lot more serotonin receptors in our gut. So anytime you irritate your gut with any food or irritant, toxicant, things like that, you are actually going to be elevating serotonin. Now, what's interesting is that uh, because on the carnivore diet, they are stripped, stripped and eliminate the polyphenols. So polyphenols are those uh, chemical constituents found within uh, plants, you know, vegetables and, and fruits and things like that. A great example is actually resveratrol, um, which is found in red wine. Now, with the carnivore diet, since we're eliminating, say, let's say, for example, resveratrol, well, guess what? Resveratrol actually inhibits um, monoamine oxidase A, MAO A enzyme, and MAO A actually degrades serotonin. So the net result is because we don't have a lot of these polyphenols, we may actually be lowering uh, overall serotonin production in the brain and the body. And that may be part of the reason why the carnivore diet actually leads to better health outcomes. Um, so there are a lot of you know pros and cons to the carnivore diet. Um, I personally don't adhere to it strictly, although much of my diet is actually uh, animal based, and I incorporate specific veggies and things like that um, that I can tolerate that don't irritate the gut. So. I wanted to break this video down. Hopefully, it uh, grabs the attention of Paul Saladino, the carnivore MD. Um, and if you guys have found this video helpful, please be sure to share it around. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out the awesome links in my video description. Check out my website. Um, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.